Just doing a quick recovery session in the in the river. <laughs> it is bloody freezing. Eh. But um yeah, another fairly large day today. It was um 30 32 kilometers. Um, yesterday 36, so a couple of you know decent days back to back and yesterday right near the end my my um, sort of tendon, my um, shin splints got a little upset again and um, I was definitely feeling it today. Um, so nice to, um, to to do a quick recovery session. Today was a it was a cool day. Um, it was a, a bit you know just another interesting day. The morning was absolutely stunningly beautiful. I I thought the around the vineyards um, around uh, Villa Franca del Bieso, I think it was called. Um, it's probably the most beautiful part of the, the trip so far. Like just some of the views, I hope it comes out well on some of the shots I took. Um, just just absolutely magical. Um, these little moments where the trees line up and the light is perfect, and it's just like wow, that is stunning. Um, uh, then uh, got a little more dull from sort of the midway point walking along a, a main road and that's hard on the joints um, so yeah it was kind of kind of um, a real highlight followed like five stars followed by you know a bit a bit um, of, of tough going but um, met a cool guy named Juan or um, uh, um, he, he's from he's from Tarragona actually Tarragona um, which is like <laughs> very close to where I live um, and uh, just purely by chance and um, amazing I've met another Catalan <laughs> another person from Catalonia on this trip it's weird it seems like somehow uh, I'm making all these Catalan friends after living there for six and a half years and not making a single Catalan friend like the society there is very closed and he said you know it's true like he has um, he works with some people from other parts of Europe who just haven't been able to make friends people tend to be very insulated and quite closed and they just have their buddies their friends from school and they don't tend to um, open open too much to to people outside of that um, that's certainly been my experience and so <laughs> it's somewhat therapeutic to be um, making all these Catalan friends in uh, uh, right at the last uh, the last the final whistle <laughs> uh, they're really nice people actually it turns out once you get to know them uh, it's not easy to do but once you get to know them they're really nice people um, this guy's a nurse actually um, he works in um, uh, like in, in emergency um, uh, and um, yeah like he he had some pretty cool thoughts um, talking talking about his work like he was saying that um, he actually really enjoys he says it, it sounds a little sick but but um, he really actually enjoys most the the really um, the big traumas you know the big um, big accidents, the, the times when there's a lot of blood. Um, he, he, he enjoys that the most because, and, and it's not for a sick reason, it's purely because in those moments you really have to focus. You have maybe 10 minutes to save somebody's life and, um, uh, and you're, you're just going through the motions, A, B, C, D, E, um, like airways, breathing, uh, uh, circulation etc etc um, we ran through that briefly <laughs> um, but you're literally doing all the the basic things that are gonna keep it's gonna keep somebody alive working from the, the thing that will kill the person first to the the thing that will take more time to kill the person and um, and I think the thing you know reading between the lines is in, in that in those times when you're very focused um, you're completely in the moment and you're not distracted by anything that's the times when we're you know ourselves the most we're the most full 
kind of version of ourselves, we're the most alive. Um, not with multitasking, not with distractions, not with Facebook, social media. It's when we're like completely immersed in and, and, and focused completely in the moment. Um, and he said, you don't even see the blood. Like you, you're just like fully, you only see the blood after you've finished. Um, it's just so, it's so um, yeah, immersive. Speaking of immersive, my legs are immersed. Um, a free bit of humour there. Um, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, another cool day. Um, Hundred, I think seventy-five odd kilometres to go. And I have to admit, I'm not actually like. There's the sense of um, accomplishment, but there's also a sense of something coming to an end. To be like when you're on holidays and you know maybe it's a three week holiday and you get to the one and a half week mark and you're like oh crap I only have a week and a half left and so there's a sense of foreboding that um, that this isn't going to last forever and, and kind of a sense it'd, it'd be nice to continue um, so yeah that, that, that has actually started to, to settle in along with the sense of you know looking forward to probably chilling a bit but I really, I am loving this experience. Honestly, it's it's amazing. So yeah, another day and um, a beautiful part of the world.